Hey, people. Um, I'm gonna start this off by saying I'm an idiot. Probably the easiest way of putting it. Because as you guys know, you were supposed to get another wrestling book today. But stupid idiot over here decided that he wasn't going to charge his phone. Yeah. I started it off. I then got to the venue. And just as the show was about to start, my phone died. So I wasn't able to get any recording content at all. So apologies for that. But I can tell you now that Metal Dragon 1 has been able to get some recording done. Um, so I will leave his link down in the description. Go check him out um, and see his version of events. Um, I will give you a quick overview of what happened there. Um, first match, uh, the Warden lost to Earl Jonathan Windsor, which was kind of crap. Um, second match was absolutely amazing. I wish I'd been able to film with you guys. Uh, it was Ryan Smile versus Will Ospreay, two amazing young talents in British wrestling. And by far, it was just an amazing match from start to finish. Near fall after near fall after near fall, close finish all the way through. Smile eventually got the win. And as he got the win, Osprey basically passed the torch over to him and said, you are the future now, roll with it. So, massive props to Ryan Smile for an amazing match. And good luck to him in the future. I'm definitely going to plan on going down to FPW soon to go and watch him again because he is an amazing talent. Um, then we had the interval ma the match before the interval, which was the London Rights versus the Geezers. That was a really strange match for me because I'm so used to seeing the London Rights as bad guys. But at the company we were at, they were actually the good guys in this match. So it made a change for me to be able to cheer them for once. But that was nice. It was good. The Riots won the game. I'm going to run the match. Retain the title. Um, you can probably hear my voice. It's really bad. Again. Like most times after a wrestling show, my voice is always really bad. It's mainly because I spend the majority of the show shouting. I really should stop doing that. But anyway. Um, then we had the interval. And after the interval, we had... Jimmy Havoc versus Paul Robinson for the FPW title. Uh, again, back and forth match, but Havoc came out with the win in the end. A um, couple of dodgy low blow decisions, but there we go. And then the main event. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the FPW Reloaded Rumble. Now, started off couple of guys, wasn't too bad, but then I really wish I'd had charge on my phone so I could be able to show you the guys this, after 15 months, RJ Singh returned to professional wrestling and oh my god, the noise that came out of that arena was amazing, everyone on their feet, everyone screaming, everyone shouting, I think that may have been when I lost my voice. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I may have lost my voice before that as well, but that RJ Singh definitely didn't help. But there we go. Um, that was eventually won by Dazzling Daryl Allen, uh, who came in about three people after RJ Singh, and they basically reformed the Bangra Knights, which was a tech team that they had. Uh, when I changed to wrestle, which is really, really good. So, uh, sorry guys, I'm really not feeling well, so, so I keep rubbing my nose, unfortunately. I know it's not exactly the most appealing thing in the world, but there we go. Um, but yeah, really excited to watch FPW now in the future. Um, especially for the Bangor Knights, they are definitely coming back and reforming full-time. It's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah. I literally got in about 15 minutes ago. It's about half past midnight now, so it was a very, very late night for us. But there we go. It's all worth it when you are a uh, wrestling fan, especially with British wrestling. 
So, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, go check out Metal Dragon One's channel. I'll put it in the link below um, for his version of events. He has been able to record some stuff, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I also went down with uh, that random guy, six and seven. So I'll leave his link down in the description as well. So go check him out. Give him a follow. I'm going to try and convince him to start recording videos again. Because he's not been very good. He's really not been very good at recording videos. Um, Metal Dragon 1 does random videos. Really random videos. Um, so there's that. For random videos, go to Metal Dragon 1. For other gaming stuff, go to that random guy 6 7. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching this little update thing. Apologies for not being able to actually give you some real content. Um, I think next time I'll make sure that my phone's charged or I'll take something with me so I can charge my phone. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later.